I don't think I've told you guys this story yet. So let me just uh, tell you this story. Uh, it's about the single time that I have with my bare eyes seen what they call an orange man. Now, before I begin the story, even though I've actually seen one, I haven't really researched them uh, or, or anything. I just know that I saw one and I just knew what it was. And that's all I know. Uh, I know that some people associate them with the uh, black figures. Uh, and uh, that's all I know about the orange men. Now, uh, the reason why I'm thinking of this is um, I was watching some videos and there is one particular station that I absolutely love to watch. It's called Black Witch Coven. I stumbled across an older video where she is talking about portals in your walls and what they mean. And I haven't got very far in the video because I was reminded of this story. Because you see, for a while there, in a lot of places that I uh, lived, there would be portals in the walls. And we used to, me and my roommates used to call them spirit highways because things were always going back and forth. And uh, this was one of the first times, and I had this apartment. And I used to have this friend that I thought was my best friend. I thought I thought at the time she was amazing. Um, this was before she uh, damaged my family beyond repair. Normally, the fact that a former friend did that would not matter, but it's actually a uh, important part of the story. So I used to tell my friend everything I knew because I I was not raised, you know, Christian. I was raised with a lot of occultic. Uh, stuff in my life and it wasn't that my parents were like uh practitioners of uh lucifer you know or anything it's just uh the conditions of my upbringing lent to a lot of things and i just happened to soak up the information like a sponge and uh i used to be on the phone with my friend for hours and we would just talk about the stuff and i ended up telling her everything i know and after a while we realized that in the closet, there was this closet in the living room, there was a portal open. And there was this day that she came over and we were standing in the living room talking. And uh, I forget the subject that we were talking. It, I mean, it might have been necromancy. It, it might it might have been something so simple as, you know, candle magic. It might have been birthday wishes. I mean, we, we pretty much covered the whole spectrum in our conversations. But uh, I... I happened to look, and standing right behind her, not even by a couple of feet, was this orange figure. It was That's all it was. It was an orange figure. It was shaped male. You kind of got this vibe of a male. It was about her height, and she was not a very tall person. And I said to her, look, you know. And she turned, and both of us, not just me, both of us watched as this orange figure turned into orange smoke and flowed back out of the living room into the closet. And inside the closet, I had a uh, standing mirror because I would, you know, look at yourself when you're getting dressed for work and flow into the mirror to escape. And she's like, did you see that? And I was like, yes. And we both were flabbergasted. We had both witnessed this. It's really interesting to me that I find this uh, video about what, portals mean in a house now mind you i don't really think i have a portal in my home right now and i'm comfortable with that peace and quiet but uh the 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 moral for me with the with my orange man story is you've got to really really listen to the things around you when it comes to friends because a lot of the things around me did not like her um you know spirit guides you want to call them whatever you want to call them they did not like her they did not want her around and sure enough not even a month later, uh, when I went to show her something with other people who, you know, truly believe that, she actually stood there and said, I don't know what you're talking about. I had learned later that she was all about talking about me, her best friend, and making me look bad at the time. So, um, so the moral of my Orange Man story is, uh, be careful of the company you keep. It's still... Even though she denied it, not even a month later, and even though she probably would deny it now because to confirm it would be to retract a lot of things she has done. So even though she would probably deny it until her deathbed um, and find whatever more power to her, 
uh, the fact that she confirmed to me what I saw without me having to tell her a thing and just listen to her ramble for a few minutes as she was amazed and we both were amazed that we had seen this thing is enough for me because that's the trick to uh, doing things and having faith in your own power and self is that you have the ability to go like that to the naysayers because you're not worried about putting on a show to them. You're worried about being strong in yourself. So I was reminded of that and it occurred to me that uh, it might be interesting to someone else that green men can apparently turn into smoke and flow into mirrors. Kind of like, kind of like how uh, they would do the tail, um, the tail of, 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 of a genie in TV shows. I mean, now I dream a genie didn't really have it right, but then again, they did kind of not exactly have the CGI that we have now. But, um, yeah, they just kind of flow like smoke, not even like water, like smoke. And that kind of kind of strikes me as some descriptions they say of demons, they, they're smoky. So um, possibly I will start looking into Orange Men eventually. And, uh, but it was interesting to me that this thing had the classic description of a quote-unquote demonic appearance um, with it being like smoke. So... There is that. Uh, and other other information, I had a really interesting confirmation on the uh, memories that I have shared with you guys, the uh, the other work memories. Uh, I was doing research on, um, I believe it was astral theology, and stumbled across some information about some of the ancient rites, and I did not know this word. So, um, you know, so it was really nice that I learned the word circum- circumambulation. And uh, learned that in these old rituals, which I wasn't raised during the rituals, so uh, learning learning them is always new to me. It's like learning, you know, a new culture when it comes to that. Uh, they would do these things, and I found description of one rite that was to the sun, and it matched perfectly to the description of the uh, time that I told you about in which I was with several others, and we were circling a room, and I had fallen out of the dream and saw that little girl fall asleep and um i guess i'll if i can find the uh, video quickly uh for anybody who might be interested in that story i'll link it but uh i've got a lot of videos up so i don't know if i'll find it quickly or not but uh the uh way we were doing a circumambulation around our room and the way we were holding our hands and everything that was happening uh, resembled very closely to a description of one of the old Saturn sun rites, uh, not Roman. And it was just, I don't remember where it was from. Um, so that was a really interesting confirmation because it's one thing to quote unquote make stuff up, but to make it up <laughs> uh, out of thin air and yet be so bloody close it's just it's just another hey you're not you're not making this up you know so circumambulation 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 yeah that's pretty darn cool i mean you know what they say the truth is like the sun you can hide from it but it doesn't go and I think that's it for this quick little update. I did have a third thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, but my microphone kept giving me trouble. And now that I finally got things working, of course, now I can't remember what it was I was going to talk about. Isn't that fun? It was probably something boring. So you guys, you know, you guys have escaped doom. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Uh, but I thought you guys might enjoy my little orange man story. Now, I guess I'll go and go do something else.